A weekend turned deadly at three different lakes in southeast Michigan, making concerns about water safety top of mind. Last night at 11, we told you about the six-year-old girl who drowned at Kensington Metro Park. Dozens of people tried to save her, but she was found too late. The body of a man from Toledo was found near Milan Beach after he disappeared underwater. And Lenawee County deputies were called to Devil's Lake where two families were tubing. We're told a 39-year-old man fell off his tube and never resurfaced. His body was found later. Those deaths are definitely a wake-up call for Michiganders who spend so much time near or on the water during these summer months. We all need to review the precautions that can keep our families safe. Paula Tutman joins us this afternoon live from St. Clair County with news we all can use. Paula. Hey, Karen. Yeah, you know what? You can ask anyone in a sheriff's department or even a marine division they're deeply concerned about this many drownings this early in the season so with the help of drum fort let's go aloft we know what we're talking about here we're talking about water water everywhere in the mitten state and it really does give us a great opportunity for lots of wonderful recreation but it also really ups the ante on personal responsibility in Michigan, our blessings can also be our curses. We have an abundance of shoreline and water in every imaginable incarnation. Lakes seemingly as large as oceans, rivers, streams, marshes, and miles and miles and miles of shoreline. Which means while we take in the beauty for the fun, we also have to be aware that water is moody and unpredictable. For all the joy it gives, it can also steal. Sheriff Matt King of St. Clair County says, so many drownings can be avoided. Water can be a lot of fun in the summer, but it can be very, very dangerous. At Kensington Park, a human chain is formed to try to find a young girl near marsh and grasses. And with Fragmighty, weeds, and historically lower water levels, what Sergeant Marty Stoyan with the St. Clair County Sheriff's Department Marine Division tells us is boaters and swimmers need to be aware that water is simply different this year. Right now we're about two feet down than we were last year. So that changes the waterways dramatically. Reading the water and the weather also really important. Waves on the water means the water is moving fast and that needs to dictate your behavior. And the wind is coming uh, from you know west to east and the kids are on a flotation device and next thing you know the wind catches that flotation uh, tube and starts blowing them out to sea. Know before you go, if you have something in your possession that floats, especially an empty cooler, that can be used to save a life if someone goes into the drink. Because what's also incredibly important is if someone is drowning, resist the urge to physically touch them. The panic of a drowning person will most likely turn the would-be rescuer into a human ladder. Sometimes when people are drowning, especially in deep water, they tend to pull down the person that's trying to rescue them. And now we have two uh, fatals and, and not one. If you can uh, try to use something that's uh, floating, whether it be another rope, a line, a pool noodle. Push that cooler or a broomstick or anything that floats to make that first contact with someone drowning, even a child. So many of the drownings that we do uh, unfortunately come across are uh, acts that could have been prevented. I always say if you're going to go out and, and enjoy yourself, I don't care what you're doing, uh, make a plan. Yeah, and take a look at these fishermen right here. The drone force, absolutely amazing. That's Harsons Island over there, by the way. And then I'm over here on Pearl Beach. So, so let's talk about that plan, Karen. And, and that's really, really important. Making sure that you indeed have a plan before you go near water, whether that's boat or on the shore. Coming up at five, St. Clair County Marine Division also talks about easy ways to make those plans because here's the thing, if you have a plan, you might actually be able to avoid the emergency that calls for that plan. So Drone 4 and I will be back at 5 o'clock, but for the moment, take a look at this office view. It's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful Michigan on a Tuesday afternoon. We appreciate it, Paula, and great advice for all families.